How would you like to have a hub where you could store all of your content and have it accessible for other people to jump in there and see it as well? Not only that, you can also access it from the keyboard on your phone. Let me show you this little gem. All right, we are here on the desktop version of boards, and this is the hub area that I'm telling you about. You can create as many boards as you would like, and inside of each board, you can create these folders, and inside of each folder, if you click in, you can have more folders, and inside of those, you're able to create more things. So for example, let's say we did this how-to, so how to do these different things. And inside of here, you're able to add video, you're able to add images, text, links, all of the things, PDFs, all of the things that you need to be able to just have information close by. Now, this is super helpful when you have a group of people that you want to access this. It's great just for you as well, but it's even more amazing when you have other people who can access it and go ahead and use the information. So let's go ahead as practice and we're going to create a new board just so that you can see what it's like. So I'm just gonna say test board and right here in this, oh, test. Right here what we're going to do is you can go ahead and you can add any of these emojis that you want, which is fun. So I'm just gonna make that happy face. Now, it says your board is empty, so what you're going to want to do is click the plus sign so that you can add any of these things. So let's say I wanted a folder, and in this folder, I'm just going to say test folder. I'm so creative. <laughs> and inside of this test folder, I'm going to write some text, and I'm just going to give it a title, I'll say, Welcome to the test hub. Okay, and then I'm just going to say, you are so special. Okay, that's it. When I get out of here, then, oops, let me cancel that. We're going to save that. Okay, and when I get out, this is what people will see. They'll see the heading and then they'll see the, the uh, the first part of the text that you put in there. If I want to add a video, I can add it from YouTube or Vimeo. I can also add a link that people can go straight to. I can also add images and PDFs. So let's say I just needed a hub of a bunch of images. Let's say I wanted to add this, which was a Tech Tuesday template that I had there. Okay, so that would also be accessible as well. So as you can see, sky is the limit in terms of content that you can create and how many folders and subfolders and folders inside of folders. Now the cool thing is that let's say that this test board is something that you want other people to access. What you can do is you can click share and you can go ahead and you can add members, specific people, who can view and share, they can edit, or they can view only. So you can ask specific people, or you can click this and enable anybody with the link can join this board. So once you copy this link and you give that link to someone, they will be asked to put their email in, and that email will be inside of this dashboard, and you will have access to the emails as well so that you can add or remove people, which is amazing to have that option. So this is just, especially if you have a team or if you have, let's say, even a ministry group that you're working with, and you can say, look, we're going to be studying on this topic. I'm gonna to put all of the PDFs, all of the, the study that we're gonna do inside of here. We're all gonna meet in here and you can access all of the resources here. Now, did I mention that this is all free? That's the amazing part, it's all free. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you now. You can see the potential of this, right? I'm going to show you now 
how cool this is once you take it over to your phone. So the first place that I'm taking you to is not the Boards app, which you can download. It's actually my keyboard. If you go into your settings on your phone and you go to General, this is an iPhone, and you go over to Keyboard, you'll see that you can come in here and you can add different keyboard. All you have to do is click add new keyboard and you do a search for boards and it will come up. If you have been given that link for those people that you sent, let's say their, uh, their information of the board to, you can have them do this. They just go, they add boards, and now I want to show you what happens. Let's go to the boards app. And now you're going to see right here is test board. Isn't that cool? So you can go ahead and you can click test board. There's test board, there's the test folder, and there's the information that we put in on the desktop. You can also add the information right here inside of the app as well. So any link, image, anything you want, boom, boom, boom. Super easy to put in. All right. Now, what I want to show you is the cool part. Let's go to my messages. So let's say that I wanted to send someone a message. It could be on any platform that uses a keyboard. So it could be an email. It could be a regular text message. It could be a message on Messenger or WhatsApp or basically any form of social media, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna do a regular text message. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the little world button, and in this world button, guess what comes up? It is the boards. It's the boards. So I can come in here, I can find my test board, I can say, okay, I like that. Let's say I wanted to share an image with someone. All I have to do is click into it. You can see here it says it's copied. Now I can come up here into the message, click it, and just click paste, and there we go. So automatically, now I have sent this over, so everything that you've created translates right into your keyboard, and you're able to then access all of the information to send out. Now, if you have a board that you have invited other people to, but you want it to be a private board, then they, you can set it to no sharing. If you want it to be a public board that people can use, then you can do that as well. So you have that flexibility to make it accessible to all public or just the people in that specific hub that you have invited, the people that have those emails in there. You can also have other team members help you to edit and add things to your hub as well. They just added that. So this is just amazing. I hope you love this. I hope you see the potential of what you can access here and especially the fact that it's free, that you can access it from your phone and do all of these things. It is simply amazing. So what do you think of this platform? Are you gonna use it? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you on the next Tech Tuesday. We'll be right back.